sorry. Sorry for running a little late. It was taking a little bit to click all the stuff that I needed just to get here. <laughs> and now I'm going to throw on our QR code and all that kind of fun stuff. So how are you, my friend? I, I am good. I was like, oh, I'm going to quick check my, am I, did I miss something? Did I miss an email saying, hey? <laughs> nope, nope. You are right on target. It is. And then I thought, is, oh, do one? I have the wrong, the wrong link for the day? You know, like how we have different <laughs> links for each week. So I went back in and I'm like, nope. Okay. Kind of like our little tag at the bottom says Sunday morning meditations. No, you are in the right place. <laughs> But I'm all I'm 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 there with your Sunday morning meditations too. I absolutely love that. That's like I have my alarm that goes off at like you know 11:20 that says Gwen meditation. Ah. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, that's how I keep track of life. I have a series of alarms. <laughs> I'm my phone is making noises. Some going to mute it so it doesn't bother us. And I'm seeing there's a frantic text message from, from the no. <laughs> I'm here, friend. I'm here. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my gosh. Well, and that is the thing with technology. Sometimes, especially, I was thinking about that because, like, I think we've mentioned that I was a teacher and a tutor for many years. And um, when I first moved to Naples, I still had clients from Miami. We would have to do things on the phone. Like, like they would, they would be like, okay, here's the problem, like on math. And then I'd, I'd write down the problem and then I'd walk them through the steps. And now, I mean, why am I not doing that now? It'd be so easy. It'd be like, okay, let's zoom this or let's message this. We can share screens and everything. But it is some, some hoops and whistles to get where we want to go sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the internet, and the internet gods have to be like, you know, aligning. Yes, definitely. Especially definitely. out here. Although I have to laugh, um, sometimes now I have better connection um, than Krista when she, she's Krista, uh, for people who don't know, is my daughter. And when she is driving around town in certain areas, like even in uh, popular areas like um, Coral Gables, where you would think they'd have this amazing uh, internet, you go in between the buildings and because they're these skyscrapers, you, you lose your connection. And then the only way you can park, like for her to go to the vet, the only way she can park is with her phone, the mobile app. They don't have those stands anymore that you can put your credit card or money oh. in. Everything is by app now. And, and I they, saw that at St. Petersburg. Yeah. Downtown yeah. is like that. Yeah. St. Petersburg. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like all our toll roads. If you don't have that, um, you don't have that sun pass, you're getting that letter in the mail. <laughs> Yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> I thought I'd bring up that bad memory. No. <laughs> no, that's okay. I, you know, it's funny. Um, you know, here in Naples, there was that short period of time where I don't know how they got it by, but they put up all those little cameras on all the corners. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And there was a big outrage. People were like, okay, we don't know who came up with that idea, but that ain't working here. And um, I remember those things would malfunction all the time. We would get, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Violations in the mail. <laughs> they would send us these things where they'd have like a picture of Shelby not stopping at a light or something. And um, I remember... He's like, he's like, you know, I thought that thing took a picture of me while I was sitting there. <laughs> so he would fight him. He'd get him all the time because he does a lot of driving. So he was fighting him. And I would sit at those corners. I'd see the camera just randomly taking pictures of people here and there. And it's like, hey, you know, <laughs> it's, and then it wasn't very long after that it was taken down. Yes. And I think that um, many places, um, 
many places have discontinued using them. And I do have a funny story about that because I got a letter in the mail that my, um, in from Georgia that I, I ran a light was not in Georgia, was not, it was like, that is not my plate that, you know, like, <laughs> and if you would like to give me that car, I will pay the fine because the car was like a, at that time, the newest Mercedes Benz on the market. And I'm like, I, I will pay the fine. Do I get the car? And they were like, ah, ha, ha, we'll take it off. <laughs> you got to jump through hoops to get them to, to do that, you know? Yeah. Well, that's good that you got it taken off. Too bad you didn't get the car, though. I know. I'm like, I, <laughs> if that was a point in my life, I sure could have used that car, you know. <laughs> like, but, I don't. I don't know if it's a point. I think at any point, I think most people would take a brand new Mercedes. Yeah. You said, yes. yeah. I think yeah. most people would take a brand new Mercedes. I don't think there's too many people that be like, no, I'm sorry. I don't want a new car, much yeah, less a Mercedes. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Well, that was the time when we were, um, you know, struggling, beginning family, and um, and some of our cars were held together by a, a hanger and a. <laughs> you know, it, it would break down, and you'd open the thing, and you'd be like the little lady you see in the thing, knock on the older neighbor and then get back in and be like, yay, I can make it to work. I did get a raise that way one time because my <laughs> boss, my boss had to borrow my car and it had, it was this little old used Honda and, and he, you know, he had a Jaguar, but it was in the shop. <laughs> so he had a meeting to go to. Was he horrified? <laughs> Yeah, my employee. This is what my employee has to drive. What is wrong? It has no me? AC either, and you know what it's like driving no AC around. And I had, yes, I was that person with the little fan that stood sat up on top of the dashboard that plugged into the car lighter so that at least you got a breeze. Oh, <laughs> oh there's Tamara. Hello, yeah. Tamara. Yeah, I was able actually to send her a hello through the chat. <laughs> I see that. And that same car got me out of a ticket because <laughs> I was, and I think I was maybe seven months pregnant and I was hurrying home and I did go through the yellow and I got pulled over and the policeman comes up and here I am. At, and I mean, I had a big belly and I'm like, and no AC. And I'm like, I, it was yellow and it was not a safe distance to stop and I'm pregnant and I have to go to the bathroom and I'm like, I mean, <laughs> go, go ahead, go ahead. You know, he goes, just, just, you know. <laughs> be careful, be careful. You and the baby get home quickly. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, yay, thank you. He's, he's a man who's been married to a pregnant woman. <laughs> His eyes got big as I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Too funny. Yeah, you know, I, I used to have, I think it was, um, it was like getting out of high school and going into college. I had a Nova, it was my boyfriend's Nova that he would let me borrow. And the thing burned oil. Okay, it was an oil burner. And you know what those looked like. Every time you'd have to take off from a stop, you left a big old cloud of smoke everywhere you went, right? All around and, you were going... <sighs> And what's funny is now you have these folks down here. I don't know if it's in the rest of the country, but you know, down here in Naples, we've got those big old um, pickup trucks mm. that have put those converters on it so that it blows a big old cloud of black smoke at people. And I'm like, you know, there, <laughs> when I was young, I couldn't wait to drive a car that didn't burn oil. Now you've got these guys that are like, <laughs> Is the deal, right? oh, man. You need you need to look like you have an oil burner again. It's not really doing you any good. And I think actually they've banned those down here now. And I think that they passed some type of noise ordinance because one of my neighbors was saying that her son got in trouble for, I guess, changing the muffler that he had on the that's, car. Yeah, that's the ordinance. You know, um, that yeah, any any uh, muffler. 
I like to be incognito because if I do something, I don't want somebody finding me at the next light. So I have the nondescript car or I have the one where I can just put along. It's not the new Mercedes. It's, a, it's an old Mercedes. And I, and it's, I'm short. So I sit down and I wear my sequined hat and I'm like, Oh, could you let me in? And everybody is like, of course, little old lady. <laughs> and then she rips off the hat and she's crazy Denise. <laughs> I fooled everybody. <laughs> and I got home in record time. <laughs> you crazy girl. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your hair uh, looks really uh, cute today. What did you do different? I actually I went to something yesterday. Um, there's a new thing to help veterans. Uh uh, Journey Home, I think it's called, and they're starting it to get veterans here services. So I went to their uh, first meet and greet and kind of networking with some people and RAC was broken. So I took a shower right before I left and I put my hair all the way back in a big like thing. And this is how it came out now that it's dry. So I'm like, oh, it's cute. It was, it was so hot in the house. And um, and then we went there to the VFW and it was freezing. And I'm like, I was in like sleeveless everything because the house was like 80, 84 degrees. <laughs> and I went there with the wet hair <laughs> and sleeveless stuff. And I'm like, normally I always bring a jacket and everything brought nothing. And oh, I think about 45 minutes into the presentation, I'm like, I think I'll just just step outside a minute. Yeah, let me go warm up. I gotta appreciate, go warm up. appreciate our nice, warm, humid <laughs> weather, you know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, my goodness. What and, figured out the AC thermometer? Oh, that is just such a crazy thing. We got a new thermometer for the AC, and I guess you get what you pay for it because I wanted one that was non programmable and, um, and just had the up and the down button but it doesn't read the temperature in the house. So I'm actually using the programmable one on the table to find out what temperature it is in the house because it said 82 last night in the house and the, the old one said it was 75. So it, I don't know how to, how to fix that except to just, now I have it set on 82 and it's 76 in the house. And I'm like, okay, I can live with that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe you should have went with the programmable one or whatever it is. <laughs> okay. The programmable one, and I don't know if it's because we do get lots of energy surges, but we have the surge protectors on everything. But that started to do this weird thing where it would go down to like 71 at like two in the morning. And in the afternoon, when you want the cold air, it was going up to 82 and I could not... We took it off the wall. We changed the batteries. We left the battery. You know, it says, oh, leave it out for, you know, 50 seconds, then put them back in and it'll reset to factory. Oh, no, none of that worked. <laughs> you know what I have found? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you know what I've found with technology that, and, and it's, it's crazy, but if you put things in the freezer... Oh, <laughs> it's some kind of a hack. It was, um, what was it? There was something, I think it was my phone wouldn't turn off. It wouldn't turn on. Then it was like my, um, there was something else that was electronic that was giving me all kinds of weird stuff. And I would, I was like, oh, so I, a couple of times I would, you know, do a search on what can I do? This isn't responding. And it kept, I would get these things, put it in the freezer. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Put it in the freezer. I've never <laughs> heard of that. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go put that thermometer in the freezer. You could try. You know, it's, and it's not a. It's not a thermometer. I know. I was just saying <laughs> thermostat, but I did. You know why? Because I said to Michael, "How do we tell what temperature it is? It feels really cold in here," and and it was saying that it was 88 the thermometer, but it was cold. I'm like, do we, the thermostat, and now you got me. Okay. That time I, and so I thought, do we have a thermometer? Cause you have them when your kids are little, but I'm like, do I have a thermometer? I couldn't find one, but I'm like, would that tell the temperature in the house? Cause that's what it would be at. Cause it's, 
a thermometer? It, it, sh it could. That is something, hmm, does anyone know out there? I, I would say, yeah, because isn't that, that's what they hang on the outside of houses is thermos, is a therm thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the thing with the little ball at the bottom that goes up and down, the thermometer. Yeah. You remember people would hang them outside their house. Yeah. Now they've got more of the thermostat that right. runs off, I guess, Batteries. that a heat coil right. has a coil that responds, I guess. Uh, but I um, electronics, that. yeah, they, yeah. you know, it's crazy. Some of the hacks you can do with them. I, I know they that it's for safety issues that they don't make the old mercury thermometers, but we had one that lasted for 25 years, never had to replace it ever. Right. We're on, we've lived here 10 years and we're on our fourth thermometer thermostat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a pop quiz with myself later. To see if I think you get to go back and listen and go, how look at how many times I said thermometer. <laughs> People can make a drinking game out of it, right? Ooh. <laughs> every time, every time that Denise says thermometer, you have to do a shot. <laughs> oh my word! There's going to be some like woozy people today. <laughs> yeah, I replaced my thermostat recently. Um, I was hoping that maybe I'd get a better, you know, read on my power usage you know by using something like that and it, it's funny because it's very programmable and one <laughs> at one point misty she's like she goes you know what it's really weird she goes it'll all of a sudden get really warm i'll walk over because it has one of those light up fronts i i only have it light up when a person gets there's motion in front of it and so she she's like <laughs> It, it, it's like it only turns on when I stand in front of it. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. So I go in, I'm reading the manual. I'm like, so, you know, what's this thing got? And here it had been set. I don't know if that was the default or whatever, but it, it was set to only turn on if it detected that there was somebody home. And if you didn't walk past it to trigger it, it it assumed nobody was home. So it would not fire up the air conditioning. And it's like, well, we need to change that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes, you know, you're just sitting like me. I sit in a different room on the computer. Like right now, I'm in the kitchen. So I'm at the table. So... If I get up, I go over to the coffee pot. You know, the bathroom is before I get to the thermostat. So it's like. Nobody's home. Nobody is home. So we changed that. So, that yeah. yeah. It has oh. all kinds of little doodads on it. So I've been experimenting with different things oh, on it. So frustrating because it was like it wouldn't run if you didn't put the time in and then it would only do the time if you put it all in at once. Like and if you if you were a second too late, you had to start over. And I'm like, oh, well, that stinks. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun at all. No. So I'm good with it reading 82 and being 76. I'm OK. with. <laughs> <laughs> I did put a call into my my AC guy who I love. Oh, my gosh. So fabulous because he'll he'll talk me through things on the phone because he's up in Lehigh. So um, he might not get here that day or the next day. And he'll he, he's very wonderful. Yeah, it, it's probably just needs to be tweaked a little bit. You know, they adjust. They can adjust it. So, yeah, because you need down here, you need it to run <laughs> appropriately. <laughs> You're home or not, you don't want to be coming into a house that's like 87 degrees, which will happen pretty quick now. Right. And with the humidity, it's... Oh, no, it was 67 degrees this morning. How about you? Outside? Yeah. Um, <laughs> 67, yeah. yeah. Not in my house. <laughs> no, I keep it more like about 75. But um, no, I um, didn't go outside yet to... Well, I took Misty to work, but that was already by 10. Oh, yeah. By then it was already summer. Yeah. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I got up about because, you know, we you don't you don't have your doggy in, 
staying with you anymore. When you when you yeah. have a dog, it's like, yep, six thirty. That's about right. <laughs> yeah. Um, the yeah, Nelson and his sunrise thing. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And now it's yes. Although I am enjoying that is staying light at night. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We did the community classroom last night. Steve Camp was in there. It was his first time. He did great. Oh, I yeah. was so excited. But it, again, it like the light thing. I was like, wow, it's still light out. You know, I got done with the class. I'm like, it's still light out. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. usually I'm doing those in the dark. So well, yeah. yeah, I had an outside yeah. event. I'm hoping it was recorded. It is. I just have to do some um, editing. Oh, good. I look well, forward I, to it. I look forward to it. Yeah. yeah I edit myself off the front and end of it and want to make sure, you know, just clean it up a little bit before we send it on out into the ethers. But yeah, he did a great job with it. Oh, I knew he would. Oh, my gosh. Such yeah. a font of information. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, you know, what was really neat is he said at the beginning, he's like, the reason I haven't been in the classroom was he said, I just didn't feel I was qualified. He goes, I just didn't feel like I was an expert. He goes, so I'd sit in the classes and listen to everybody. He's like, I can do that. I can do that. So it took him a little bit. And, you know, I think we all go through that, you know, where we, we do our work and we have our self doubts I, what do they call it? The imposter syndrome or something, you know, we hold ourselves back and then all of a sudden, you know, spirit kind of kicks us in the butt and says, get on out there. <laughs> well, it's a much needed time for us all to be out here. So I think that, yes, yeah. getting that light out into the world. What, what is the name of that? Follow the light tour or something? Yeah, follow the light tour. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm excited about you being in the classroom. We told everybody that you'd be in next month. And I saw and I said, tapping for our good and or tapping into the good. And yeah. I saw faces light up and people mm -hmm. taking notes. So I think some okay. people will see some new faces in your class next month. So I, I am looking forward to that. And Already in my head, I'm like, okay, yes. I remember when I came up with that class and how absolutely amazing and why I wanted to do it. And so it's so good to bring our body that remembrance. Yeah. 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 It's going to be fun. It's always it, fun. It is. You know, the classrooms are always fun. So if anybody's listening at some point of, to all this and says, what are these ladies talking about? Visit spiritualcommunitiesnetwork.com. We have a classrooms page. You can see who's coming up, who's gone by. You visit our YouTube channel and you'll find all of these archived uh, under podcasts. I have us under the podcasts. And then we have the community classrooms. I don't know if I put them under podcasts or not. But anyway, the community classrooms are all there as well. So it's a great place to find information learn some new stuff and talk about spirit. If I can segue real quick. I, um, the other day <laughs> I was like, so I'm sitting at the kitchen table, right? Cause I wanted to get off the dining room table. Right. <laughs> so I moved over to the kitchen table. So I, you know, so I didn't have those mirrors behind me was the main reason, right? That and the tallness of the table was not conducive to my back and blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> so anyway, I, um, the other evening, because in the morning I do meditation in the evening I'll journal and then I'll do my gratitude beads and during my journaling, I just kind of threw out there, you know, I was like, you know, you guys, I could use some help with this whole desk idea. Like where, cause I, you know, now I'm in a condo and it's small. And so I was like, there's furniture. I don't want to get rid of. <laughs> so introducing more furniture. So it's kind of a problem a little bit. So I was kind of like, well, so I rearranged some stuff. And I'm like, you know, spirit, if you could really help me out with this, this whole dilemma with the desk thing. And, you know, I love how quickly it responds when we ask, right? So I, um, 
so I had moved the furniture and I was like, you know, I think there's enough room on this one wall. If I found a small desk, I could put it up against the wall and it shouldn't, you know, get in the way of anything. It shouldn't, you know, it should work. So I just kind of threw that out there. Next day, I'm on the, um, I was on my, oh, I was going through my, e my emails, going through my inbox, cleaning it up. And Wayfair, or no, no, I, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting all confused. So I was watching TV that night and I heard that um, Roomsco was having a big sale. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if they've got desks. So I went on, nope, no desks. I'm like, ah. So then uh, Wayfair showed that they were doing a big sale. And I was like, and they do some pretty good sales. So I was like, eh, yeah, let me go check. You know, I felt the nudge to go take a look, you know, because I at first I was like, no, no, I can't do any shopping. You know, I, I, I need to really kind of not you know, spending money like a crazy lady. <laughs> and then I got this nudge of, well, let's just look, you know? So I did, I found this little desk that will fit perfect into that spot. And it's deep enough to hold like my computer and all the gizmos and has a drawer that can take care of all my clutter that's around me. Try and guess how much. Am, am I shooting high or low? All right, $99. Let's, let's say spirit was at work. <laughs> okay. For a nice desk? Yeah, for a little desk. For a little desk. $199. $40. That is amazing. Wow. $40. Dollars. I couldn't wow. believe it. And then they had a little yeah, timer. Yeah, that they had a little, that. Wow. They had a little timer going on it too that said, you know, five hours. And I'm like, oh, they're not even gonna let me think about this. <laughs> but I was like, what's to think about? Because that's what I they had just to make sure you know a nice desk. It would be around two hundred dollars. That would be a bargain. That's what I've been looking at. Everything I was playing around with in my brain, just small, easy peasy desk, not anything too over the top, right. easy couple hundred dollars. And right. so I was, yeah. So congratulations, I like $40 free shipping. Wow. Okay. Right there. Delivery within three days. I was it's just okay, like definitely meant to be. Yeah. Like, I gotta ask more often. Yes, yes. Follow, <laughs> but, follow the nudge should be your new uh you know it's I it's one of those things that I teach, but I forget myself a lot is asking. You know, you get just mm. gotta ask and not from a needy place of of oh, I need this, and oh, you know, not that lack thing. It was a very, um, you know, I could just use some help figuring this out, you know? <laughs> yes, completely they, different energy, yeah, yeah. And they did. They orchestrated the space, you know, because, you know, at first I didn't really realize there was a space there. And then I was like, oh, and I did the measurements. Then I got, you know, then I was on that site and I'm looking at $40. So I'm looking at their measurements. I go back, I'm remeasuring. I'm like zooming in. I'm like, well, it doesn't look like cardboard. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, because you want to maintain some sense. Yeah, that's going to be that, in the middle of my room, you know. <laughs> that ultra thin uh, press board. <laughs> right, right. I'm just like, does it? I'm like, wow. Well, oh, I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. And then what it'll be is it's up against the wall that had the mirrors. So what'll be behind me should look pretty good because what it'll be is my um, little cubbies filled with yarn and my Lego across the back. Okay. Yeah, because it was uh, not that I don't enjoy seeing 
your doppelganger behind you sometimes. <laughs> but it was distracting. <laughs> It's like, is there somebody walking across? No, that's, that's you turn in your head, you know? I know. It, was, it made me crazy. It, it made me just as crazy as everybody else. And on the other stuff, you know, like if I zoom, I can do a background. So I do a background for most of that stuff. But um, on this platform, on Restream, it doesn't, they'll do a background, but the background looks all wonky. And I don't, I'm not real sure where the wonkiness is coming from, but it just doesn't look as good. Like right now I'm doing their blurred thing and it's less wonky, but I can't block it out completely. So that's why, you know, every time we, we were streaming, you could see my wonderful doppelganger. Behind me. <laughs> I remember somebody was like, Hey, I see the cat walking behind you. And I was like, the cat walking behind Behind me because I'm thinking I'm up against a wall. How can they see a cat behind me? <laughs> Plus, I'm like up at a countertop table, right? So I'm like, how can you see a cat behind me? And then I, I look up and it's in the mirror. He's walking on the floor in front of me. <laughs> right, 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 right. Aww. And they used to throw people off too. They, were, they thought it was a room behind me. They thought those were, you know, columns. Right. Yes. It, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I am, I am stationary now because I have a, 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 a PC, my, my laptop, I can still use it, but it, it can't do the, the latest and greatest and will never, ever upgrade again. You know, whatever those <laughs> updates are, it, it, it will shut itself down and then it, it will take a year to, to like of praying, yeah. praying, you know, to the, so is this a new PC? It is uh it is not. It is um the 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 monitor is new and all of that stuff, but the PC I had someone build it for me. Oh nice. Well that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he has new that. if it's been built. He's an IT person, fabulous. And it is weird because um whenever I have any issues, I can call call him or text him and it, he's um, part of the, the H6 Fit uh, wellness community that I'm part right. of, and he's their IT person. But it, it, he speaks technology like here, and I'm down here, and I'm like, you know, the doohickey. See, I can't even see my hand where he is. <laughs> he, he's he's, he's, he's out of this world. <laughs> right. And, and then he'll be like, it's okay. And all of a sudden you see your mouse moving around, you know, and it's like, oh, nice. Oh, it's all working oh. now. How did you do that? Something that I was like struggling with for like six days and, uh, and a Sunday. And he's like 20 minutes later. Okay. You're all set. That's cool. Oh, That's, you know, it's great to have a IT person. Just a godsend. If nothing, if nothing Although I've gotten good things from that, if that was the only thing, it would have been be so well worth it just by itself. It's like <laughs> all good things, all good things. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. IT people. I mentioned my. We do know, pretty my, good, you know, for for coming from the land of of uh, ribbon typewriters to to what we're doing now online. I'm I like I'm gonna. And here, this is for you too. I think we should pat ourselves on. I'm not, I'm going to do both shoulders because, you know. Well, you know, we should, we big pat, because you know what? I have, people will make comments about people over a certain age and technology. And, and you know, I fit into that group and they're, they're kind of, you know, I'll, I'll be in the conversation and they'll poo poo on, you know, whether or not you're, <laughs> You can hold your own with technology. And I was, I'm like, oh, you don't know. <laughs> and I'll be like, I, I build my own websites. And they're like, what? <laughs> oh, you know what? And, and shout out to anybody there because absolutely you, you held my hand when I first got started and you showed me how to do Facebook lives and different things. And, and, and now, you know, I'm, I'm there with my phone and I've got my little, uh, you know, glorious morning down at the canal with the dog and on TikTok, you know? Right. I said, I said to my daughter, um, I said, Hey, 
you know, your boyfriend's into computers and stuff. Like he's getting his doctorate, right? In um, yes. computer science or whatever it is. Um, he's going to be the guy. Oh, she corrected me because I, I was saying before he is the guy who, you know, if you when they do upgrades and your computer does something new and great or your smartphone's doing something new and great, that he that's he's going to be the guy behind the new and great kind of masterminding it. She corrected me. <laughs> she said, no, no, he's he is going to be studying theory. And the theory is to understand why computers do what they do, because they don't know. They don't know why it does what it does. <laughs> Like this AI, remember we talked about how AI is kind of a little scary now because it like can really kind of hold a conversation with you now oh, yeah. and um, they don't really know how it does that or why it does that. Were we talking about life and, and how like the Dick Tracy watch, was that you? <laughs> I don't know. Probably in the, in the Sunday funnies, they had Dick Tracy and he had the watch, which is now an eye watch. Well, and Star Trek when they had the little, doo -doo, you know, like, a right. yep. and, um, and data, the character data was mm -hmm. a, a self learning and actually like, so, Hmm. I know. Well, so Sagan, man. You, you <laughs> So I'm like, okay, well, so he must know something about computers, right? <laughs> so I said, I could use some help. And she's like, oh. well, I, I don't, it depends. Cause, and I've gotten in this before where if somebody does certain things, like people have built computers, they do this or that, you know, there's a big difference between building or doing something with a computer and writing code. And even in the code community, there's... <laughs> You know, there's people who like write code and then there, I guess there's people that use it. I don't know. <laughs> right. but, but it's like, whenever I try to find somebody to help me with something, <laughs> they look at me like, what the heck? <laughs> because they're expecting me to go, I can't seem to turn on my, <laughs> and instead I'm like, you know, my website's not showing any H1 headings. <laughs> And I heard I can go into this one spot here, pull it up and change my headings to H1. And they, they stop and they just look at me. I'm like, what? They're like, um, that's above my pay grade. That's like crap. So I'm thinking my daughter's boyfriend, he's got to be, that's got to be his pay grade, right? And so she mentioned it to him and he was like, I'd really have to see what it is you're trying to manipulate because that could really cause problems <laughs> if you're in the wrong thing, manipulating things. And I'm like, that's why I'm trying to find somebody that knows. Right. And you it's know, because it's been a long time since I've done HTML. I would think too. Yeah. Don't even, I don't even, I don't even, but it's, it's niche -y right? Like even in computers, you have your niche where you're an expert. And then there's something else that is, it's like, oh yeah, sorry, my mind doesn't work that way. Yeah. I, I think it's like, if you have people, they, they use code to create things. And then you have the people who do the HTML that make the code that they use kind of thing you know because i don't know i i was around and gwen wants to do both <laughs> <laughs> no you know what some of that makes my eyes glaze over and gives me a headache so i really that's why i'm trying to find somebody that i can go this is what i need you to do <laughs> and have them just do it because they know how to do it right. um but you know i'm from way back when okay when i started school at msu they had just retired the key punch stuff <laughs> and we're starting with the pc what's now a pc right. and um the what paperless even though it had reams of paper for them it was paperless because you weren't running cards through right? right so you learned basic you know the basic language which 
was more, if I'm trying to remember, I'm, I want to say it was more or less like HTML, right? <laughs> Where now when people code, they're talking about, it's like these little blocks of code and you just move the blocks around. It's like, you know. Is that like how you used to make pictures on your dot matrix printer? <laughs> <laughs> where the X's and the O's went, then all of a sudden you're like, look, this is my portrait. <laughs> oh, wow. Life has expanded so far from, from, from those days. Yeah. It has. It's really kind of, yeah. Yeah. And to think, you know, you know, the kids have, you know, grown up with it. Right. Right. And, but if you really think of, People who were on the cusp of computers, home computers, and being in the in the web, you know, that whole thing, that was a huge, huge mind. <laughs> Talk about changing your bandwidth, you know, because really to go from nothing to that. I remember, I remember there, I, I was like, whoa, okay. I have to really click into a whole nother segment of my head for this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Cause I mean, almost everything, it, everything electronic in our life has, has evolved so fast. I mean, from, from us, the princess phone that was behind side the bed or the, the phone that was on your kitchen wall that had the 10 foot cord. So you could reach the bathroom and shut the door. So you could have right. a phone call and the rotary dial that if you missed a number, you had to start over. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right, right. Uh, did you see, they had something of, uh, they had something on a show where they had kids and they're like, dial this number. And they gave them a rotary phone and the kids were like, what the heck is that? How do you work with? Like, and they're dialing it, like you know. And then there's no, like, it was just, it was just funny. And then I think I remember we had the beepers. Then you had to find a phone to call back the number that beeped you. All right, and there was the beepers, and then they went to remember the what was it, BlackBerry, Blueberry, or? <laughs> oh no! First you had the the bricks, the brick, like the brick cell phone. Do you oh, know? Yep because I worked for a guy who was, uh, he bought and sold houses and he would, and it had, to, had had like a, you had to carry the battery pack with you and it had a big black cord, like the, oh my word. Yep, yep, phones, just the whole just, phone thing. Remember, and people would steal the antennas off of your car so you had to make sure you took your antenna with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was crazy, that was crazy stuff. But I remember even um, with the computers, I remember when the world, you know, the World Wide Web was a thing when it, you know, it was, and people were like, I don't get it. What is it? It's like, you can tap into anything. And it's like, anything? What's that mean? <laughs> you know? <Right. clears throat> and I remember there was um, like a little spoof thing going on um, because, you know, Google search, right? When it first started, everybody was trying to figure out, well, how do you use Google search, right? And so they had a little spoof where the, this guy was representing Google search and he was like, so he's sitting there and the person would be like, cars. And he's like, cars? <laughs> You know, it's like Mustang cars. And he's like, and, and they would go through it. It was like the evolution of it. You know, you finally had to figure out, oh, you have to go, where can I buy a Mustang car? You know, it, because nobody really knew how to do it. And I think even with chat, um, and I think it was a Darb or Bard or whatever, the, the AIs that are out right now, that are making a lot of headlines. People are doing that same thing. They have to learn how to use it because it its ability is even more than that. Because now it's like, I think I mentioned to you that you can take a paper you've written and ask it to review it and tell you what it thinks. 
right about it kind of like you'd have a friend say so what do you think and it'll tell you what it thinks you know is it too choppy to this to that is it smooth is it not friendly <laughs> it can give you that kind of information not editing but it can tell you what it thinks about it yes i i see many useful applications and then i see like where it's going to have like people using it that's going to be causing legalese <clears throat> But, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll we'll make our way. We but I, hey, like you said, pat us on the back. We've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> We're in that age group that hey, if you're still you know clicking along, well, we won't talk about the thermostat. Just you know. No, uh, not, not using a programmable. <laughs> I see my thermometer is working. My AC just came on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah when we hear it come on in the summer and we've had problems we're like thank you jesus you know we we had a share of them um the builder put in the upstairs we had two units one for the upstairs one for the down and the upstairs one wasn't a big enough unit for the heat you know because the heat goes up and you had that hot roof so it wasn't enough to it couldn't handle that <clears throat> so it would break down and then those power surges would throw out whatever that little dealie is in there in the inside that they'd have to replace. Yeah. The little dealie. I, I know that one. <laughs> that little dealie. <laughs> the, it was it? like the, what was the thing that was in the back to the future car? The, Oh yeah. The thing that was in there, the name of that is, is very similar to the thing that burns out in your air conditioner when it gets too many surges. The capacitor, something, something capacitor. Oh, the capacitor. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's capacitor. So I'm going to take it. Yeah. Something capacitor. For 100, Pat, I'll take capacitor. <laughs> the AC people are out there going, oh my God. <laughs> but when that, I'll tell you what, when that air conditioner went out, it was miserable because then the lower one definitely couldn't keep up. And then the upstairs just became a sauna. You know, the humidity just kicks in big time up there. It was, oh, my God. Oh, you could have rented the space out for hot yoga, Gwen. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> and then and then I'm like, tell the AC guy, I'm like, I'm like, well, how long is it going to take for you to get? Well, it you know, it'll probably be three or four days. And I'm like, what do you mean three or four? Well, we got to get the part. And I'm like, well, you just told me this part goes out all the time with surges. Why wouldn't you have this part handy? Well, we don't really stock the parts here. They're up in our, um, oh, where was it? Up by the lake, up by, up by Okeechobee. Um, Okeechobee, yeah, up there. And <laughs> I'm like, well, why is it going to take three days to get that part? <laughs> I can drive there. What's the directions? I will bring it back. Is the guy going to walk or what? <laughs> like, or a strong carriage still. I don't know. It's something. I don't know. I'm like, he's like, oh, whatever. I said, what, customer service isn't special to you. <laughs> It's whenever you get around to it. I mean, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not with that company anymore. That company really sucks. <laughs> really, really, really sucks. Uh, yeah, bad news. Well, I do have a good AC guy if you need him. I, I've got, I got this one group I'm working with now that's pretty, they've been doing me good. So, good. well, just if ever. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Family, family, his sons were working with him now. And it's, it, that's something I really love to see because his sons came. Um, Cause he had a, a different, he had to be, he had something emergency in his family and he had to go back to Texas and um, his sons came and they are young, you know, they're like late teens or, or maybe not even 20. They were so polite, so professional. Oh, and I told that. him and he said, you know, 
thank you. He goes, you make my heart feel good because most people only say when something doesn't go right, he goes, and I always wonder how they do in the field, but nobody ever really gives me feedback. Uh, and yeah. it was just, it was just to hold the integrity of their dad in, in the business that he created. Nice. Just so heartwarming. Yeah, it is. You know what? That it, That is super special when you find a group that, you know, a family or even a company, even if it's not a family owned company where, and, and that's kind of these guys, they're, um, just they're really good that way. They're, you know, they're like, you know, customer first. <laughs> I, love I love that. Yeah. It's hard. I'm going to give a, I'm going to give a shout out to the guys at Slicers, the sandwich company. Have you, ever, have you been to Slicers Hoagies? Oh, 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 oh. Where is it? They're over in the market. Quesa Shopping Center. It, it's Pine Ridge and Livingston. Okay, that's no, not too yeah. far from me. I I, I don't know. Yeah, it's better than if you said Pine Ridge and Airport, I'd be like, I'm not going there. No, <laughs> nobody, nobody goes to that corner. That corner is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous from automobile standpoint. It, yes. There's so much crazy traffic there. That's insane. That, but that, no. Yeah, that's the busiest intersection in naples yeah it's yeah. it's labeled the worst intersection in naples yeah it, just too much sorry. traffic sorry. way Slicers. too much traffic but Slicers is, no they're over at livingston and pine ridge so they um which side of the street they are or or the bank they're on the corner with um starbucks oh okay. so it would be the yeah. southeast yes. corner Marquesa. East corner. Yes. It's Marquesa. Yeah. It, 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 where it's all white. Everything's done in white. Yeah. White stucco. So yeah. Um, yeah. There's a first watch in there in there too. Yes. I've been, they, I used to go to, they had a boot camp place in there. I used to go two years okay. ago. I think they still do. Don't they? They might. I haven't been um, out that way in a bit. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to the guys at Slicers because they are just like, what we were talking about with the, you know, the family run and well run stuff. It's not a family run thing, but the guy in, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, sir. But he's a young guy and he, um, young by my standards. And he is, um, he's super sharp, just super sharp. And he, um, am I freezing? I look like I'm, Occasionally, I saw that. I don't think it's me this time. No, I think it's me because all of a sudden I wasn't moving. <laughs> I did hear you. I did hear you. Oh, okay. So he, um, he's got a handful of guys, and they've brought in some girls now. I've seen one or two girls in there, but it's usually the guys. And the guys are there is an energy when you go in there. Okay, they are all about their work and their work is sandwiches and they are all about making an experience, which is like a good sandwich experience. Okay. So the, when you give the order, you know, they are making the sandwich fresh, you know, slicing the meat for that sandwich, you know, people putting it together and what do you want on it? And their sandwiches are amazing. Okay. Well, that's a good, uh, and, so do you know their hours? You know, good recommendation. So I would say search yeah. it, do a search. I, they're open, you know, regular. I think they're open early enough for like guys who want to get a sandwich for work. That's for lunch. what I was wondering. Yeah. And they're open in the evening. So people who go in there to get some dinner. Oh, it's okay. A pop, it is a pop, it's a very popular sandwich place because they've really earned a reputation. So, oh. you know. Don't get frazzled if it looks like there's a line. They move the line pretty quick. Like I said, they're a sharp. I'm sharp not a food. frazzling person when you gotta wait. I I love. I mean, I'm I'm the person that my daughter doesn't say it anymore, but she used to be like, "Mom, you don't need to talk to everybody." <laughs> <laughs> and they glanced at me, so I had to say something. I know it's like I'll be standing in the line, and some newbie will be, "Oh." Well, wow, they're looking at the sandwiches. Well, which is that you can hear them talking out loud to themselves. I wonder which one's the best sandwich. It's like 
that one. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, listen, I just realized what time it is and I've got a two o'clock. Oh my goodness. Wow. We, we just chatted away. But the sandwiches, have. let me say, they, they put some of their sandwiches come with crunched up barbecue potato chips. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. That well, yeah, we just chatted ourselves an hour away. It was great. And that yes, we did. I could do it so often. And I love you. And I I I'm yay. Love you too, sweetie. Take care. Have a great weekend. Okay. Bye. 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 bye.